All right, <clears throat> new topic. All right, new section. Uh, now we're going to talk about accelerations. We've done velocity, like if we want to jump from the velocity of one point on a rigid body to the velocity of another point on the same rigid body, we can use two methods, either the relative velocity method or the instantaneous center of zero velocity method. You can use either of those methods uh, to find the velocity, to find the angular velocity. Uh, but when we're talking about acceleration, uh, we only have one method. Uh, there's no such thing as like an instantaneous center of zero acceleration. You, you cannot use the instantaneous center to find accelerations because that instantaneous center is uh, moving. Uh, it's not a fixed uh, center, so we can't find accelerations using that method, but we can use the relative acceleration method. So, it's similar. To relative velocity method. Remember the relative velocity method of uh, VA equals VB plus VA slash B in that relative term, the velocity of A with respect to B, uh, the only thing that A can do if B is my reference frame is kind of move in a circular fashion around B, uh, and so that relative term is due to rotation, it's due to the angular velocity omega AB, and it was omega cross R, uh, and that R is A slash B. So what do you think about acceleration? Um, we can use this equation, the relative acceleration uh, equation. Uh, acceleration of A equals acceleration of B plus acceleration of A slash B. All right, the acceleration of A with respect to B. And similarly, this is still due to the rotation. Uh, it's due to the angular uh, information of rigid body AB. So what do you think this is? I'm going to immediately rewrite this as... I bet you guessed this, omega cross r a slash b. This is omega, and that's the angular acceleration of rigid body a, b cross with r a slash b. That's from b to a, but that's not it. Uh, you didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? It's not exactly like velocity. It's The acceleration is going to be a little bit more interesting. It's going to have one more term. Uh, when we talk about acceleration and we talk about rotation, uh, what are some of the things that we need to not forget about the acceleration when something is, I don't know, traveling in a circular path? Don't forget about that normal acceleration term. Now, this isn't exactly normal acceleration, but does this remind you of tangential? We also have another term, an extra term here, which is almost like the normal acceleration term, uh, it, it is minus omega squared times r a slash b. All right, so that is going to be my equation that I'm going to write uh, when I want to know, maybe I want to know the angular acceleration, uh, maybe I want to jump from the acceleration of point b to the acceleration of point C or point A, uh, then I can use the um, relative acceleration term. So I'll say AA equals AB plus AA slash B, but immediately rewrite that uh, relative term as alpha cross R minus omega squared times R. Now this is not a cross product right here. This is not omega squared crossed with R, that's omega squared times R. Uh, and also that omega, it's, it's just the magnitude of the omega. It's not in the k-direction. Uh, it's not positive or negative. I mean, it, it is positive or negative, but we're squaring it. Uh, and then we've got this minus sign outside of the square. Um, and so that, uh, that's our method. And that's our only method that we know how to get the angular acceleration of a rigid body that is not in pure rotation. Um, or maybe to jump to, hey, what's the acceleration of that other point on the other end of this rigid body AB? Uh, so this is omega of the rigid body right here. Uh, we might have to calculate this. Um, so we might have to calculate this using the relative velocity method or instantaneous center of zero velocity method, we might have to do a whole problem before we get to our acceleration part of the problem. We might have to do a whole velocity problem just to get that omega AB right there. So some of these problems, especially the homework, you've got to do the velocity first. You've got to do the, the previous section uh, in order to get that omega AB before you can even start with the acceleration part of the problem. Alright, 
So that's our method. AA equals AB plus AA slash B. Immediately re rewrite that as alpha cross R minus omega squared times R. <clears throat> All right, one thing that we might see is a wheel that is rolling without slipping. A wheel that is rolling without slipping. So if it's rolling without slipping, it's maintaining good uh, contact with the ground. Uh, so let's say it's rolling and, and it's speeding up, it's accelerating uh, with some angular acceleration alpha AB. Uh, think about point G. All right, what is point G doing? What is point G doing? Point G is just going in a linear path. Point G is just going in a linear path. And so we know something about point G. Uh, we can just use the fact that G is going in a circular path. If you know the alpha of the rigid body, point G is equal to R alpha um, in, you know, in this case, just, just in the I to the direction, in just whatever direction that it is rolling. Okay, so we're going to take this as, okay, that is one thing that I do know about a wheel that's rolling without slipping. I know that the acceleration of its center of gravity is, you know, along the, the path. Uh, if it's going along the ground, it's perfectly horizontal. If it's going, you know, down a hill, it's perfectly down the hill. And it is R alpha. And so maybe then, knowing that point G, then maybe I can start there uh, and, and maybe I want to find, hey, what's happening at point B? Well, I would do AB equals AG plus AB slash G and immediately re rewrite that as alpha cross R minus omega squared times R um, because we, we know the acceleration of the center of um, gravity. Uh, we do not know, we'll talk about this later, but we do not know the acceleration of that point right there. It is not zero. Yes, the velocity is zero, uh, but the acceleration is not zero. Uh, so the point that we need to kind of start from uh, to, to jump from one point to the next would be the center of a wheel that's rolling without slipping. The acceleration at that point is equal to R alpha, and the direction is just along the line of action right there.